Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you resonate with me. This is going to be good for placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Capricorn, or if you are dealing with a Capricorn, you can see if these messages resonate with you as well. Uh, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not every message will be your message. So just take what resonates, leave what does not. Check out your other placements for additional messages as well. Okay, so Capricorn, let's see what's going on with you guys. The person that you are dealing with, whomever you have on your mind, what do you need to know? I forgot to put on my rings. Give me one second. I feel all naked without them, so, okay. Um, what is going on with you and your person for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, let's see. So we're going to take a look at your recent past, your current energy, and what's coming in your near future. <clears throat> Ooh. Wow. You could be dealing with a Leo, um, but you don't have to be. It looks like there's been a lot of conflict between you and your person in the recent past. Um, interesting. Uh, for some of you, this person may have had you in a third party situation. Wow, and another five here at the bottom. Um, yeah, for some of you, this person could have had you in a third party situation. Someone could have got left out in the cold here, ghosted, um, walked away, etc. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like uh, this connection is definitely being tested or has been tested in your recent past. There is some sort of loss here in this connection. I feel like at one time in the past, this, this person did make you really happy. Um, but I feel like, yeah, it could be dealing with a Libra also that just wanted to come out. Um, I do feel like there was some sort of interruption here so we'll take a look and clarify and see what that is but there is a lot of conflict here showing up for you um what's your current energy for capricorn so you could have been married to this person i just got um or in some sort of uh like long-term committed connection could be going with an aries but you don't have to be um cancer showing up here as well so currently i feel like you guys are definitely getting to a space of exploring your options because you're in search of your 10 of cups, which really makes you happy. Some of you may have choices. Um, could be dealing with a Taurus as well. But I feel like in your current energy, you guys are getting to a space of gaining back control um, and you're in pursuit of your 10 of cups, which really makes you happy. Something that's uh, long-term, stable, um, emotionally fulfilling here. What's your near future? Okay, again, um, some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Overall energy is Page of Pentacles. You have the seven, yeah, I feel like there's some sort of deception here. The Fool and the Six of Swords, wow. So, um, interesting, you have the Two of Swords here at the bottom of the deck and the Ace of Wands. Some of you are really conflicted on having a new beginning or taking a risk on something new. I feel like uh, in your near future, you may find out that the person that you've been dealing with um, has been a bit deceptive towards you. And overall, there's something here with, um, okay, so I'm getting, some of you may leave a situation, go towards something new or have a new start in, in a connection or a relationship, um, taking a risk on it. And then you find out that there's some sort of deception here is what I'm getting really strong. Um, so ultimately, there's an energy here of moving away or moving to calmer waters. All right, let's 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 start clarifying this and see what is going on, Capricorn. Um, let me move you guys down so you can actually see your cards. Um, and let's start clarifying. So the sun here in your recent past for Capricorn... 
Could be dealing with a Sagittarius with temperance here. Okay, so you have the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy, and the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like what would truly make you happy or what you used to think about in the past was having a new beginning with this person. Some of you may have children with this person. Um, there's a very strong attraction between you and this person. I feel like you have had a lot of patience with this person with temperance here. Seeing the Five of Pentacles is showing up at the bottom again. But there's an energy here of weighing out your options. Um, and there could be a lot of mental conflict surrounding weighing out your options. But ultimately, there's a choice here to of someone moving on. Putting yourself first and moving on is what I see here. Okay, so let's clarify the Five of Wands. There's some sort of conflict here between you and your person. So waiting and Nine of Cups. You're waiting for your Nine of Cups. Some of you are... Um, you've been really hopeful of a change in this connection. That would have been a wish fulfillment for you. That would have made you really happy. Some of you have been waiting on this person, waiting on communication from this person. Oops, sorry. Waiting on communication from this person. Um, but you're not receiving what you need. So there's the chariot, again, an energy here of making the choice, making the decision to move forward. What is this Five of Swords for Capricorn? Ten of Swords, I told you. Some sort of ending. Some sort of ending here. Having choices. The Seven of Cups is showing up again for you guys. Having choices. Um, having options. And making a decision to maybe start um, pursuing those options. Or looking into those options. Okay? Because you're in search of this Ten of Cups. So you guys are really looking at... All the different possibilities for you to have this happiness so let's take a look what is the chariot doing here in the current energy for capricorn some of you are manifesting um some of you sorry i keep hitting this some of you are really focusing on um money uh money over love focusing on your material realm um interesting some of you could be dealing with the gemini but you could be dealing with somebody very manipulative as well. But you're moving away from a connection in search of something more stable is what I'm getting. What is the Seven of Cups for Capricorn? What is the Seven of Cups? The Emperor. Aries energy. Page of Wands. Ace of Swords. Um... And the Ace of Swords just flew on the ground. So Ace of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Emperor. So there will be some sort of clarity that you're getting in regards to having options here. Taking control of the situation. Um, I feel like a lot of you are in a space of, if you are exploring your options, it's really exciting for you. And again, with Ten of Cups here. So you have Ten of Cups twice in your current energy. Um, some of you are really seeking a sense of like harmony, um, a happy union and a connection here. What is this Ten of Cups? Please clarify for Capricorn. King of Wands, could be dealing with the fire sign. Leo, Sag, Aries. Some of you are taking action. You're making the choice to take action towards a fire sign here um, because you feel like this is a wish fulfillment with this person so um so i do see that putting an end to something in the past and working your way towards a better option um which looks to be like a fire sign um or they just have that energy about them and taking a risk on that please clarify the fool for capricorn three of wands um queen of cups in reverse Six of Cups. This could be someone from your past um, that was emotionally disconnected. Um, somebody that you've been waiting on. Somebody that you've been waiting to take uh, a next step towards here. So I do see that. Um, for some of you, it could definitely be a Sagittarius because you have Temperance at the bottom. What is this? Seven of Swords. Six of Pentacles. You may find out that this person's giving to another situation. Please clarify the Seven of Swords. Yeah, see, seven of swords and cannot be trusted. There's someone here who's given you false promises, ghosting. They may end up ghosting you or you may end up ghosting them, but they're giving to another situation, Capricorn. Six of swords. So there's an energy here of moving away from that person. Six of wands. 
justice could be going with a Libra. Um, you have the mirroring card. Yeah, the moon secrets. Three of swords and the queen of wands, which to me, this is being heartbroken over finding out that there's another person involved. Okay, so I do see that here. Um, please clarify this page of pentacles. Divine timing. Lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, but overall, there's there's an energy here of needing to make a decision or making a decision here. Having a strong uh, attraction to somebody. Uh, you could have been waiting on this person for a long time because I do see that here several times. Waiting on communication from this person. Waiting on things to move forward with this person. Uh, you will receive some sort of communication here. But you, ultimately, you find out that this person that you thought was your person, your other half, there's some sort of deception here and they can't be trusted. Capricorn. Capricorn. So someone here is lacking loyalty is what I'm getting with this. Um, you could have a family with this person, children with this person, could have been married to this person, or what I'm finding, what I'm finding, oh, well, maybe what you find out is you may find out that somebody is in a committed relationship and they have a family, um, and that causes the heartbreak here. See? Secrets. The secret could be this person's loyal to, the, to their family or that they, um, mm -hmm, that's what I'm getting. I can't even pick another storyline because... I'm getting that so strong that someone here is hiding something from you. And it could be a family situation. Capricorn. So let's see. What would this person want to say to you? Capricorn, what does this person want to say to you? You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Capricorn. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Capricorn, what does this person want to say to you? I don't react when people mention you. Someone's trying to act like they don't care about you as much as they do. I just got a message. Someone here that I'm picking up on, um, you know this person, who, if they're involved with in a commitment or a wife, husband, whoever, whoever they're married to um, or friends of that person may know who you are. So they don't react when people mention your name. What else? That's very specific. So many things remind me of you. I feel you leaving me behind. Someone's getting left. Capricorn. We will be together again. I know that I crossed the line with you. Yeah. So, um, and at the bottom is I love you. So someone here is definitely getting caught up in a situation. Um, Capricorn. And I feel like there's an energy here of moving away from that person. Whoever that is to you. So... That is what I'm seeing. I hope that resonated. I hope that helped to bring you some clarity in regards to your situation. Um, thank you guys so much. If you resonate, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.